Go fact of the day with Ella. So goats have four compartment stomachs. They have the rumen, the omasum, the abomasum, and the reticulum. Um, the rumen is the one that helps digest roughage, like hay and browse. Um, it's also why they need, like, hay and browse at all times. If their rumen stops, the goat stops, pretty much. Um, it helps keep them warm when it's digesting. When they eat the roughage, they will actually regurgitate it, chew it up some more, and swallow it again. So, yeah. Goats are pretty neat. They also only have bottom teeth on the front. Um, they have a hard palate on the top. Um, they have top and bottom on the back, though. Goat fact of the day number two. With Ella. So, a female goat is called a doe. A male goat is called a buck. A neutered male goat is called a weather. In some areas, they can be called uh, billies for bucks, uh, nannies for does. Um, I've even heard steer for um, weathers, but that one I've only heard at the auction house. Uh, there are also goats that um, can be intersex, which the technical term in the goat world is hermaphrodite, which is usually caused by uh, breeding two polled goats together. A polled goat is one born without horns. Howdy guys, gals, non-binary pals. We are back with another day of goat facts. Today, we're going to talk about kidding. So, goat gestation is 151 days. That's about five months. Miss Ella here is definitely pregnant. Um, they can have anywhere from one to, like, three or four kids. If I remember the record is, like, six or something. I can't remember exactly. Um... She had twins last time. This upcoming kidding will be her second. She's due January 15th. Last time she went on her due date and I had to bottle feed her babies because she did not care for them. So here's hoping she'll care for this set, but I don't have high hopes, but her babies are gorgeous. So thank y'all for tuning in. It's Goat Facts number four with Ella. Today's Goat Fact is about horns. Um, there are goats with horns and without horns. And there are two ways you can get a goat without horns. They can either be pulled or disbudded. I do believe all of mine are disbudded when they were young. I do not uh, do that myself. All of the goats that come off of my farm have horns. Um, unless they're naturally pulled and I have not had one of those yet. Um, it is very easy to mess up, especially in little bucklings. So... I would rather just not do it. Um, I'd love to have some naturally pulled little babies, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you can tell if your goat is pulled or disbudded by basically the fur on their head. If there's like a little hole where there's a scar, they were probably disbudded. We are back with more goat facts with Ella. So I'm going to touch on horns again because there was so much I missed in that last video. Um, I'm doing a three minute one this time, so hopefully I can get more information in. So to re-hit on a little bit, uh, you can have goats with horns and without horns. As we can see here, Ella and Rayleigh. Um, goats without horns are either pulled, disbudded, or dehorned, and I totally missed dehorned in my last video. Um, I'm pretty sure all of my goats without horns that are like clean have been disbudded. Scooter was disbudded, he's over there, and I'm sure y'all have seen my other videos. He's got a curly horn, I'm gonna actually go over there and point it out. And that curly horn is called a skur. It basically is what happens when a disbudding messes up. This is one of the huge reasons why I don't disbud on my farm. Chip here 
his disbudding was fine. Um, I've gotten all of these goats as adults, except for Rayleigh. Rayleigh I got when she was a baby. Um, so I had no say in whether or not they had horns or not. Um, usually my goats have horns. Mama, over here, she was dehorned. So there are multiple ways to dehorn. And you can see it was failed attempt with her as well. Uh, her smaller horn right there curls around into her head and we have to get it cut regularly because her first owners did not know what they were doing. Um, so to dehorn, the best way to do it if you have an adult goat is to go to your veterinarian and have them do it under anesthesia. It is very, very painful. I do not recommend it at all. Um, disbudding happens when the goats are babies. So when they are a week, two weeks old, when their little horn bud starts erupting out of their head, that is when they're typically disbudded. They use a hot iron to burn the horn bud off to stop it from growing. Again, not very cool. Not like for me personally. Um, I have helped disbud before by holding babies for people, but I have not actually disbudded myself. None of my goats have ever been disbudded. I probably won't ever disbud. Um, at least not without some sort of pain medication because most places don't use pain meds for it. Um, but yeah, if y'all have any more questions, any questions about uh, horns, disbudding, dehorning, any of my goats, just uh, like, follow, comment.